Hi, I'm Kevin, your tried and true Tai Chi mechanic from the Awareness website, and this is number two of our five principle series of videos, and this is for getting your knee over the toe, and also known as finding the center. And at the end of the video, you're going to want to stay to the very end because we've got memories of Mr. Moy and some great stories. Alright, so this is video two in our five principles series of videos. Now this is the knee over the toe. So this is a very important aspect, a very important thing to keep in mind when you're moving through the boot. So when you're going from one leg moving forward into the other, you want to pay close attention to not pushing out your knee. So, just to use the Toyu for an example, is your, and again, we're going to build on the other principles as we go along here. So, we've got our 45 degree angle step as you learned in the last video. So, 45 degrees with the back foot, the other foot straight ahead. Now, when you go forward, you want to make sure that you get straightened up and then relax into the front leg so that the knee lines up over the toe. So if I were to look straight down from here, I should still be able to see my toe. As opposed to going forward and pushing the knee out. Now as soon as you do that, all your body weight pushes into your knee joint. And if you push that knee out past like that, now all my weight is pushing into my knee, knee joint and the knees aren't designed to take weight like that. What you want to have is these muscles, your big quad muscles, taking the load and allowing the knee to bend without putting weight into it. So the weight is actually relaxing into the hips without the knee pushing forward. As soon as your knee goes forward, the weight pushes into it and it starts to strain it. So moves like brush knees, partitions, grass bird's tail, whip to one side, all the same thing. All the moves are like that, is you just want to make sure, and regardless of how much extension you get, the same thing applies. So when you come forward with a toy you, you want to make sure that the weight relaxes, and even though you might stretch out more, you want to keep the body balanced. So this is finding the center. So as you come through, and relax your weight, you want to find that center where everything can relax. So if you come through and you push the knee forward, you're not centered. Your, your whole body weight is out of balance here, and so you're not, you're not centered over that foot. So another thing, a very important thing to keep in mind as you're going through the moves in the set. So, stay tuned. Memories of Mr. Moy is coming up next. Mr. Moy always had a very subtle yet direct way of teaching or, or giving you an understanding of yourself. Um, there was one particular case where typically at a workshop, again, we have the big banquet and so we'd all go to the restaurant or to the kitchen or the dining room or whatever, have the big 10 course banquet meal. And in this particular case, we had finished the banquet and everybody was coming back to the, the club, the practice hall, and quite common was, you know, after a big meal, everybody would just want to kind of sack out for a little bit. So I walk into the practice hall and there along the wall and over on the sides and in the middle of the floor, people were just sort of sprawled out, stretched, having a good old snooze, letting their supper run down. I look around and I figure, hmm, I guess this is what we're doing. So I get myself down on the floor and I get all kind of cozy and I'm just kind of starting to zone. Mr. Moy's translator comes over and I look up and there she is standing over top of me. And I look up and, and she says, Mr. Moy says you should do more Don use. Well, immediately I spring up and I'm doing Don use. And then I look around and nobody else, everybody is still snoozing. I mean, he just, 
had her come over and say to me, Mr. Moy says you should do some more Dawn use. So I guess I needed to do more Dawn use or something. And everybody else needed a nap, I don't know. <laughs> but it was, it was very interesting and, and again, Mr. Moy's subtle way of teaching. So, we'll talk to you later.